Uh, I got a uh, Black and Decker spotlight that I uh, took apart because the battery, lead acid battery inside of it dried up and uh, developed a bad cell. Uh, I took the uh, top piece up off here and pulled the ca uh, rubber caps off and turned it upside down and nothing came out of it. And it's not a gel cell, it's a, a lead acid. Uh, I'm trying to charge it here with its original charger. But this battery is no good, the spotlight's no good, so <clears throat> I'm going to take this board and uh, I'm pretty sure this is like a float charger or maybe a, a trickle charger. But um, I'm going to take this DVD case and um, encase it in there, put this board in there. I have some pieces here that I want to mount to the top so that I can put some alligator clips on it or whatever and charge a car battery with it. I've already tested it and it does charge a car battery pretty decently. Uh, yeah. So if you got a bad spotlight laying around, then here's a, there's all the parts for it. But if you got one, you know, that doesn't work or whatever, go ahead and turn, take it apart and turn it into a float charger like I'm gonna, I'm gonna do. No. Uh, and you can adjust this here. Uh, if you turn this one right, it'll lower the output voltage. It used to be like 13.8, but I thought that was kind of too high. But it should be about right, 13.8, 13.6. So I want to lengthen the charger wire here and uh, probably mount them LEDs somewhere on the case. Um, I'm going to have to do something with the, well, I'm going to have to cut these and, uh, <clears throat> attach them to the wires here. So that's, that's about it. I'll get back to you when I, uh, get this all finished and I'll show you what it looks like. Uh, here's the finished product. Uh, I got the I got it charging this uh, pretty much dead battery came out of the uh, spotlight. Just to show you how it works, uh, whenever you connect the battery, we'll disconnect it and watch this green light right here. See how it got brighter. Now when you have a fully discharged battery, it won't be green. It won't even be dim. It'll be completely off. See how it dimmed? So that means it's charging. And when it, when that green light's completely off, that means it's charging. Or when it's dim like that. And the change your connectors or whatever, if you want to use the uh, alligator clips or the big uh, battery clamps, all you have to do is just unscrew these, and it'll be just a post sticking up. So you pre I can pretty much hook this up to any uh, lead acid battery, and it'll uh, float charge it. Huh. And it's pretty much waterproof except for the bottom. I had to. Cut that uh, black piece in the middle, and I like hot, pretty much hot glued everything else in. So, that's pretty much it on how I made mine, anyway.
Oh. And then I connected a, a longer wire so I could plug it in. Works pretty good. Uh, I got it connected to my car battery right now. And the green light's off. And now it's at 12.4. And it'll gradually go up to 13.6 uh, and it won't go no further. Oh, yeah, it just slow charges it. Uh, for a battery like this, if it was kind of depleted quite a bit, it would probably take, uh, you know, like 24 hours or more to charge it. So just keep in mind that these float chargers, they will charge a battery, but they uh, it takes them a long time. Oh. Alright, I'm out here in the garage. Got my leads in here, but I accidentally wired them up backwards. No big deal. I'll figure. I'll fix that later. But, uh. I got it plugged into a quick disconnect. This is going into my battery. And then the wire's coming up in here, and yeah. I took these off because I couldn't get the uh, alligator clip to go on. So. And it should stop at like 13.61 or something like that, and then kind of float there. So. That's how, uh, that's how I made my float charger.